Welcome everybody to part 2 of Universe Sandbox. Since there's so many views on the video I made like 6 months ago, I found it appropriate to make a part 2 of this video. Uh, I already say thanks for watching that first video. I've got plenty of other videos about other video games on our channel. Um, they're not being viewed much though, so it might not be interesting. But if you want to have a look, look around. I'm going to make some more videos about other games as well. But for now, we'll just keep it to part 2 of Universe Sandbox. Um, I'll be making my own little uh, simulation since I haven't got any questions from anybody about something to do in this game, like how I need to do anything. So I'll just do the most simple thing that's making my own little solar system. Um, on the left you'll see like one minute or at least one second in this game or in real life is one minute in this game. So uh, the days go by like a bitch and well the gravity is just on the normal level. Okay so um, you first have to start off by just putting a star on a random place. I usually just pick our own sun. You can mess around with the sun though. There has been quite some updates for this game. So I'll just show you some of them. Um, you can just put the temperature to one of a red star. Like this. And then it gets bigger as well. So it looks pretty neat. Or you can make it like a blue star. And then it gets smaller. But it's damn hot. But I'll just keep it to... Uh, our normal sun's temperature. Also, in the uh, last video I had to make a black hole by just putting the gravity in the right uh, value so it sucked everything in. But now there's the black hole option. Uh, if you click that everything gets sucked in the core. I'll just um, show that in the end of this video. Uh, I don't know if planets still fly out like Venus did in my last video. <laughs> I sure appreciated that you uh, guys found that funny as well. Although I was a bit casual at it at the time, but <laughs> I found it funny as hell as well myself. Some stars or planets get shot out like crazy in this game. But well, that's that's the point. Um, if you go fast in this game, like a faster time usually brings inaccuracy in this game. So the faster you go, the most weird things will happen. Um, I'll now just put the earth in orbit I usually just pick one of these rings um, that's because if for example I want to put Mars in here as well then I put them in the other ring and then the chances of them colliding with each other is a bit smaller because there's a bit of space between them but it can still happen because uh, the time is pretty fast and well with the time fast things might happen um, so yeah, now we got like Earth and Mars around our little sun. Um, well, you can see that it's not really a realistic spot for the Earth to uh, fly about because the temperature around there is like 2000 degrees Celsius. So uh, I think uh, we might be having a Kentucky Fried Chicken tonight. Um, Mars, on the other hand, can I see temperature of that? No. That's weird. Well, I think this game is like Mars is not important. Screw it. But I think they're getting closer though. You can see the ring going a bit weird. Especially Mars is getting a bit closer now on this edge. Anyway, let's see if we can make some more crazy stuff. Let's say Mars needs some fancy rings around it. So, I'll just pick a nice ring of your anus. How how nice your anus. And let's see what happens. I think if the Earth passes by, then the ring will... It's, it's already doing weird things. I think it's going to the sun because it's so close. Yeah, I think it will. That doesn't look like Uranus anymore. Or even funnier, I think the ring will orbit the sun. 
Now let's see. Earth is now passing by. It might just pick up some of the uh, debris. We'll never know. Nah, the ring doesn't give a crap. Okay. Can I change this? No, it's not locked. It's just in the orbit of the sun. Okay. Well, let's just um, let's just check if I can do something else. Yeah, this is just bullshit. Like a halo ring. This is how I used to make a black hole, though. Uh, you could just make this ring have a very big gravity, and then it it didn't really show anything on the map, so it did look a bit like a black hole instead of having a star uh, having such gravity. Yeah, a teapot and such. Yeah, that's a bit bullshit. Um, I might try and get a moon in or the orbit of the Earth, but it's going to be tricky. Let's see what I can do. Uh, just our own little moon. And then you see also the Earth has this orbit system, but I think because the Earth is so close to the Sun right now, I think this moon is going either to collide with the Earth or it's going to live its own life and orbit the Sun. Like I said, it's going to live its own life. So positioning in this game is very important. Uh, the best way to get this simulation well is to have a bit more distance between the Sun like around here. But I like to uh, get a total view of what's happening and such. Um, well, now let's try and mess around with the black hole option. And we might get a Venus part 2 right here. So if you just click the black hole option, everything must be sucked in. But um, it seems I'm, uh, I'm making a flop right here. I'm not really seeing any difference. Although it's possible in theory that you can orbit a black hole, of course. But is it auto orbiting? There is an auto orbit option in this game, but I don't think I had it selected. Auto orbit? No. Oh, now it is. Now it's not. Well, it seems I've I've put the objects in the right uh, angle, I suppose, for them to orbit a black hole. Or perhaps because I just turned the sun into a black hole, the mass is still the same. So I might just mess around with the mass of the sun, make it like 100 suns. Then things might get fucked up. Yeah. Oh... Mars and Earth Part 2 shooting into space. And the moon is also uh, going bye bye. Well, um, if you have any suggestions for me to do in this game, just ask and I'll see if I can do it and put it on video for you on YouTube. Um, please rate it and subs uh, subscribe. I really like to hear what you guys think about my videos. And, uh, well, I hope to see you in uh, my next videos. Thanks for watching.